Recently we looked at high powered handheld radios focusing on the Bofeng UV9R which is advertised at 18 watts. Now I knew this wouldn't be the case and I bought it to prove that point but what I wanted to show you today is a 10 watt high powered radio that actually does 10 watts or thereabouts. This is the Radiolity GA510. It's a dual band tri powered handheld transceiver which does do what it says on the tin. The three power modes are low, medium and high, 1 watt, 5 watts and 10 watts and there will be slight variations between VHF and UHF which we'll come to when we do a power test. It has a 2200mAh battery which will enable longer operation on transmit and an even longer standby time of up to 96 hours and it's also dual watch and dual VFO so two signals can be received at once. So just to look at the main features it has an operating range of 136 to 174 MHz on VHF and 400 to 480 MHz on UHF. It has 128 memory channels, the 10, 5 and 1 watt tri-power settings, manual programming and PC programming and it programs virtually the same as a Bofeng UV5R, the menus are very similar. CTCSS and DCS and tone burst, scan function, dual band, dual watch display, Vox, power save mode and CTCSS tone scanning which is handy if you're listening to somebody who's operating with a CTCSS tone you can scan this and um, see which tone they're using. So in the package you get the Radio Odyssey GA510, two 2200mAh batteries, a dual band antenna, a programming cable, a desktop charger and power supply, a belt clip, a wrist strap, an earpiece and a user manual. On the front we have a rubberized keypad with orange accents a bright LCD screen and the speaker and microphone. On the left we've got the PTT and two side key buttons and on the right we have a Kenwood style speaker mic port. And on the top we've got the SOS button, SMA antenna socket and a status indicator LED and no flashlight you'll be pleased to see. Now the radio feels similar in build quality to the GD77 by Radiality or other DMR radios. It has quite a nice sturdy and solid shell and feels substantial in the hand and the best part is that it comes with two batteries. So if you're out in the field and running full power, you've got a backup should you need it. So first, before we go out testing, we're gonna plug the radio into the cheap yet relatively accurate GY561 power meter and see what sort of reading we get on low, medium and high power on both VHF and UHF. So you can see there on UHF, very credible, um, a high power of 5.6 watts. VHF is where it really kicks out the 10 watts or 9.9, .9, but I'll take that no problem at all. You never get the same reading on VHF and UHF on these higher powered radios, but VHF 9.9 .9 watts is really credible, no problem at all. And UHF again, 5.6 watts, it's, uh, it's really good. So it's nice to see a radio that actually delivers what it says it will. So I did go up to some high ground and put a few calls out to see if I could make a contact. The first location is near Croker Hill in Macclesfield, the site of the BT Chilton Tower. This has a good takeoff over Manchester, so I thought we'd make a decent call, but the view up there, as you can see, is quite narrow. There's not much in terms of uh, field of view. So what I did after that was went down to the good old Werner Flow and put a few calls out there. So what I'll do now is show you those um, calls on the radio. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on two metres, M3 HHY portable, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee portable. Calling CQ on two metres from Croker Hill in Macclesfield. Calling CQ on two and standing by for any calls. Yep, M0 SQJ portable, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee mobile. Good afternoon to you, following to our, our communication, yeah. Uh, top of the winter hill at the moment. Uh, copy you loud and clear here, uh, no problem, uh, just a little bit of noise, so I give you 4.5, for probably 9, uh, I can't see anything else, uh, apart from the little noise on your, on your, on your uh, modulation, there's absolutely no problem whatsoever. Back to you, M3, HHY. Yeah, M3HHY mobile returning. Yep, no worries. Well, you're, um, you're clear here. Um, your radio 5 um, signal, I'd say, around a 6 or 7. But yeah, clear line of sight between uh, between you and I, but quite a way. Uh, I'll have to work out the distance when I get back home. But yeah, good to speak to you. Um, I, I didn't quite catch the name. Um, I know we spoke before 
Um, I'm on a I'm on a country lane, but it's really busy, and there's a lot of cars and motorbikes going past, so it makes things a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's good to speak to you anyway. Back to you. Okay, so I wasn't having much luck up on the uh, hill in Macclesfield from that takeoff, so I've come to the trusty Werner Low. Now, I'm going to be putting some calls out from the car because it's quite windy out, um, it's, it's, it's quite blustery, and the camera picks the noise up, so put a few calls out from the car and see uh, what we managed to pick up. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ on 2 metres, M3 HHY, Mobile, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, Werner Low, calling CQ on 2. Calling CQ on two metres and standing by for any calls. Big tail of returning. Yeah, fantastic signal there. I'm getting uh, very high up there. Yep, no worries. Um, I'm on Werner's Low just outside Stockport. Uh, I'm not sure on the ASL, actually. I think it's about maybe 250 metres, maybe. 200 metres, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm just testing out a... Radio to see 10 watt handheld. I went to a different location, but there wasn't a great path, a uh, great takeoff there. It's quite a narrow field of view towards Manchester, so I've moved up here. Uh, the name's Lewis, call signs Mike 3 Hotel Hotel Yankee. Back to you. Right, I'll say something to you anyway, Mark, I'm going to put a few more calls out and just see if we can uh, make any other contacts. But cheers for coming back to the call there. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you further down the log. Uh, 73 for now, M3HHY. Uh, M, says we're all GG. Back to you. Oh, it's you, Chris. M0, Oscar Golf Golf, M3HHY Mobile. Very good afternoon. Just at Wernerth Low, testing the Radiodity GA10. And uh, it's the 10 watt handheld, and it uh, seems to be doing okay. It's a bit quiet out there though today for a bank holiday Monday. It's working well, mate. 5959 five, on my HC in my garden. Back to you. Yep, yeah, you're 59 as well, Chris. I went up to uh, Croker Hill in Mac, but there's only a, a narrow field of view between two hills across Manchester, so you sort of get the city centre, and that's it. So I, I moved and uh, I've come up to Werner Low. Um, so yeah, you're the uh, fourth station of the day. Yep, no worries. Cheers, Chris. 73, break station, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Lewis. It's uh, Dan M0XLR. Yeah, good afternoon, Dan M0XLR, M3HHY Mobile. Hope you're okay. Uh, don't, don't know if you heard me say to Chris, we've just done Werner Flow. Come up with a, one of these little 10 watt handhelds. Seems to be doing uh, doing well. Um, but the radio's a bit quiet. Well, it was until uh, you two come on anyway. Hope you're okay anyway, Dan. Back to you. M0XLR, M3HHY Mobile, no worries Dan, if it makes you feel better, I'm back at work now, second day back today, it's like I've never been away, I had 10 weeks off uh, with everything that's been going on, so I had a nice break, but back uh, back to it now, um, so yeah, well, it's good to uh, good to hear you, anyway, it's been been quite a while, we'll just go again, um, Dan, what's your QTH? Mike Zero, November, Victor, Quebec. Yep, Mike Zero November Victor Quebec. Is that you, Rob? Hi, Lewis. Yeah, Rob here. Um, I, I listened out at half five, but obviously you weren't there. 
Um, I tried uh, receiving you just two minutes, three minutes ago uh, before you changed frequency, I think it was. Um, I could just hear you there, uh, but it was a very poor signal. I'm, you, know, you probably know where I live. I'm in uh, Oldham, on the south side of Oldham, uh, on Gloddick, uh, not far from where Graham used to live. And I can see uh, Werner's Lowe's, the two transmitter masts from the back bedroom, but I could barely hear you. So I've now put uh, the handheld onto a V2000, and obviously that's uh, above the roof of the house, and so uh, getting you loud and clear now. Uh, back to you, uh, Lewis. Yep, no worries, Rob. Okay, um, well, it's good to speak to you anyway. I appreciate you coming back to the call. Um, as for Werner Low, from the direction you are, I'm just slightly behind the hill on the other side, so that's probably why. So switching over to the the higher antenna, you, you've uh, just come sort of come into the uh, into the path of uh, of where I am. So yeah, that's good. Well, it's good to speak to you anyway. It's been uh, been quite a while. I was at, um, I don't know if you heard me say to Dan a minute ago, I was at another place up at Macclesfield, but it wasn't a suitable location really um, for um, across Manchester, so I, I called it a day and came back to Werneth Low. Um, so yeah, you're probably the sixth or seventh contact now, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, back to you. Uh, well, that's all good stuff, Lewis. Uh, yeah, excellent. Um, yeah, I've got uh, one of those army masts that someone was selling at the... Um, National Ham Fest, uh, I forgot, Newark. One of the lads from the club went to Newark and I asked him to get me some of these NATO poles, the fiberglass poles, they plug into each other and they meet along. And I got those uh, from the ground up to uh, the ridge of the house. And then I got the V2000 on top of that, the counterpoises, uh, the three. Okay, so a few nice contacts there with some decent distances, um, not bad at all. The radio was quite quiet considering it's a bank holiday Monday, but never mind, um, we managed to make a few contacts. The radio works really well, it didn't get hot, I thought it might with it running sort of 9.9 .9 watts, but it didn't get hot at all um, and it, you know, it seemed to work and perform really well. So I think I'm going to use this as my main radio for a while and see how we get on with it, but so far so good, really happy with it and as I said it's just nice to see a radio that does uh, as is advertised. So I'll leave that one there guys, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions drop them in the box below and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3, thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one, cheers.